scandal. Aunt May? Is Peter Parker's mother? Say it ain't so. No, this is not clickbait. There is a possibility that Aunt May can actually be Peter Parker's mother. Hello to all of my Spider-Man geeks, Dante D here and welcome to the channel where we talk about comic books and other geek stuff. No, this is not clickbait. I am actually suggesting that Aunt May is Peter Parker's biological mother. Actually, that is what this comic book series here called Trouble, which debuted in the early 2000s, suggests that Aunt May is actually Peter Parker's mother. Not Mary Parker. And I know what you're all thinking. So if Aunt May is Peter Parker's biological mother, does that make Uncle Ben his biological father? Well, um, no, that's not exactly how it worked in this comic book right here. Richard Parker is actually still Peter Parker's father. Yeah, I'll let you do the math on that one. Now this comic book that I'm gonna be talking about here does contain spoilers, so if you actually plan to go out and read it, you don't really have to, it's not that great, but if you actually plan to go out and read it, just be aware that you are going to get some spoilers here. So, this comic book series here was a limited series, and it followed Ben Parker, Aunt May, who at the time was young, uh, Richard Parker, and Mary, who eventually becomes Mary Parker. And they basically all volunteer their time at this, like, summer camp estate kind of like at dirty dancing where it's like a resort where people go for the summer and all that is on aunt may's mind is just getting down and dirty with whoever she can find i cannot believe how nasty and how promiscuous they make sweet little old aunt may in this book now it's really kind of funny because this book takes place it seems to be around the 1960s early 1970s and every time we see Aunt May, she kind of seems like she's in her like 80s or something. But uh, you know, so the so the time the time period and chronologically doesn't really work that well. But you know, I had to suspend my disbelief a little bit on that one. So they're here, and they are just in their teenage hormonal glory, just trying to get down and dirty with everyone. Well, Ben Parker is a little bit more of a gentleman, so may ends up experimenting a little bit and seeing what other delights there are out there so yes at the end of the day aunt may and richard parker end up and aunt may does get pregnant well she gets pregnant with this baby who yes we all know as peter parker who ends up becoming spider-man and by the end of the book Mary ends up taking the baby away from May because May is so afraid that she's going to get in trouble. She's so afraid of what's going to happen with her life and she doesn't feel ready to take care of this baby. So Mary ends up taking the baby and tells Richard that the baby is hers and that Richard impregnated Mary and now they have this child. Yep. She pulled one over Richard Parker's eyes. You are the father. Oh, Jeff. Oh, Jeff. See? What do you think now? After all the hell you put me there, look, look. And that is the story of Peter Parker's origin. But not really, because technically this is not really canon for Spider-Man. This took place in an era where Bill Jemis was in charge of Marvel and we all remember what the Bill Jemis era of Marvel was like. There's a lot of weird stuff coming out of the Jemis area. Let me know in the comments if you liked the, the Casada Jemis era, what I'd like to call the Quemis area. Uh, that's probably my least favorite period in Marvel history, but uh, I just had to check this book out because fans to this day talk about how notoriously bad this comic book is. Now it got a lot of praise uh, for its art uh, and uh, the art was done by Terry Dodson. Dodson! Dodson! We've got Dodson here! But uh, other than that, I don't think it has any other merits. I just think that Aunt May was a character that fans did not want Marvel messing with. She is such an integral part of Peter Parker's life and the whole mythos of Spider-Man that to take away what fans have 
been used to for who uh, by that point you know almost 50 years was just insane not to mention that we all know aunt may as this sweet old lady not even a motherly figure she's more like a grandma to peter parker and now they're taking this character and they're kind of sexualizing her a little bit don't think that uh, fans really took too kindly to that. How could you take sweet little old Aunt May and make her like she's one of the cast of Sex in the City? I have to admit there were a few times while reading this comic where I was like, so let me know, have you read Trouble? If you did, what did you think of it? If you haven't read it, do you plan to go out and read it? I, I don't really recommend it, but if, you know, go for it if you want to. Would really like to hear from you all in the comments regardless. And as always, this is Dante D signing off. I will see you all in the next episode.